Hello everyone, this is John with Siktopia. Now, today's tutorial is about automated installation of Camellio and Ceramis via AWS CloudFormation. We will start with an overview of Camellio SIP server, followed by its graphical user interface, Ceramis, and finally demonstrate how an AWS CloudFormation template can be used to automate their installation. You might be familiar with certain commercial SIP servers like Avaya Session Manager, Cisco UCM, Polycom DMA, and Oracle Enterprise Communications Broker, to name a few. They provide multiple functions like proxy and register. Unfortunately, not everyone has access to these commercial applications. This is where the open source SIP servers come into play. However, unlike commercial SIP servers, the open source servers are a bit hard to install and use. We had covered installation of a relatively simple SIP server, Repro, aka Reciprocate, a while back. Today, we will cover Camellio, one of the most popular open source SIP servers. Besides being a good open source SIP proxy slash register option, it is also used a lot as a load balancer in front of PBXs like Asterisk. It is also praised for the security components it provides. By default, Camellio is CLI based. It appeals mostly to developers and it's rather hard for non-developers to install and maintain it. The commercial SIP servers mentioned earlier have something in common. They all have a graphical user interface. It's a lot easier to navigate through a graphical user interface than a command line interface. Now, Ceramis can be installed on top of an existing Camellio deployment to enable a web-based graphical user interface. With a graphical user interface, Camellio becomes a lot more appealing to non-developer folks. The only problem is that deploying Camellio and installing Ceramis on top of it is not an easy task. If you Google Camellio and Ceramis, you might be able to find a few tutorials, but good luck following them through without experiencing any issues. One of the greatest things about AWS is its on-demand availability. If you need a service or a server, rather than trying to find some hardware to install it and going through a bunch of obstacles, you can click on a few buttons to get a fully deployed solution. While manually installing a server in AWS might still be a little complicated for some, it is still way easier than the traditional data center deployments. Now, one of the services AWS provides, CloudFormation, takes it one step further and allows these installations to be automated via templates. It's worth noting that uh, creating a CloudFormation template, which can be in JSON or YAML format, can be quite hard. However, once a working template is created, it can be shared with others and it never fails provided that it was not modified. Before moving on to the demo, I would like to also mention the word stack, which comes up a lot in AWS discussions. Basically, the group of resources you create using your CloudFormation template is called a stack. Once you delete your stack, you will also have deleted the respective resources. Please note that I'm using AWS free tier where the resources are limited, but you don't have to pay hundreds or thousands of dollars to test servers. Now, in order to move forward, we need to get a few things in line. First of all, let's go to Google and type my IP. Please note that this is your public IP address. We are going to use this IP address in our AWS CloudFormation template to restrict access to only you. I would like you to also go to 
this link which I will share under the video and right click here where it says raw and save link as wherever you want to save it. I'm just going to save it on the desktop for easy access. Now let's move on to AWS Management Console. I have a few tabs here. First of all, let's search for EC2 and use this first link that comes up. This takes us to the EC2 dashboard. As you can see, we don't have any EC2 instances running at the moment. Our CloudFormation template will allow us to create this instance in an automated way. Now, one thing that CloudFormation cannot automate is creating key pairs. So let's, on the left, scroll down to key pairs, click on create key pair, and please type Ziptopia. This is your private key. Amazon in the background automatically installs your public key in the service or servers that you create. This way you don't have to enter any credentials to log in to your servers. Let's go back to our instances screen and use the other tab to search for cloud formation. Click on the first link. Here we simply click on create stack. Upload a template file. This is the file we have just downloaded, jz camelio ceramis.yaml If you click on next, you need to enter a stack name here. Well, let's say Ziptopia. Now, this is the important part where your IP address comes into play. Make sure you go back to your Google search, copy your IP address, come back here, and put it here with a 32 as mask. As I mentioned earlier, this will restrict access to your server based on your IP address. Let's click on Next. The rest is pretty much clicking on Next. And at the end here, we click on Create Stack. So once we click on Create Stack, the process starts. You can click on this Refresh button to get more information. As you can see, the template started creating multiple resources, like security group and so on. The fact that we have a CloudFormation template allows us to automate all that configuration, as well as the installation of Camaleo and Ceramis. So if I click on Refresh again, as you can see, it's still creating resources. Uh, this is the public IP address we will be using to log into our server. As you can see, the creation is still in progress. As you can see, the creation has been completed. Now, let's go back to our instances page and refresh this screen. All right, so this is our server. Let's take a look at the public IP address. Copy it. As you can see here, it's a t2.micro type of instance, which is free. Now, it's going to take uh, just a few seconds to initialize the server. You can click on status checks here and simply refresh the screen to see the details. Normally, when you are creating an EC2 instance, you also create the public IP address and then attach it uh, to the server. Our cloud formation template does that automatically. So it's still initializing. Once it's done, we will simply go to our public IP address and slash Ceramis and hit enter. Ah, look, the server is already up. Now, let's click on Setup Now. As you can see, everything is up and running. Click on Next. These are the 
username passwords for some database access. You may change these if you prefer, or you can keep the default ones. Now make sure you click on all four of these boxes. Click on next. It's just so a success message, and again, everything looks good. These are the default passwords. Now let's click on next. Now, as you can see, the default login is admin, admin, and let's launch Ceramis to see if we can log in. As suggested, let's use admin, admin, click on login, and here we are in the system administration screen. As I mentioned, we used your public IP address in our cloud formation so that only you can have access to your server. This concludes our tutorial using AWS cloud formation to install Camellio and Ceramis. See you in another tutorial soon. Until then, stay safe. And God bless thousands of nurses, doctors, first responders, and scientists who are risking their lives to save ours every day.